Yo, welcome guys. Um, I thought I'd do a tutorial because I reached 200 subs. I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much. Yeah, the, the growth on my channel has just been crazy, and I got promoted to co-lead editor, so I'm really just really happy. And thought I should get more active again, so I'm gonna upload a tutorial on how I do my scale slash pan and crop. So it's a little bit different than some people but i'm telling you if you get used to doing it it's a lot easier and you're gonna notice that you can edit clips a lot faster by using adjustment layers so um what we're gonna start off doing is just find a find a song and just mark down all your beats it's pretty easy you should be able to know how to do that if you're watching this tutorial but anyways you're gonna mark down all your beats then you're gonna come over, come over and drag your clip in so my bass drops right on this beat so I'm gonna drag my clip over until the uh, shot matches with the beat it's probably the easiest way to sync something so now that it's uh, matching up we're actually gonna do my how I do my scaling so a lot of people when they're doing the scaling they just press S on the clip I mean you can do it that way it works fine but in my opinion I don't like doing that it's really aggravating having to make like separate scale layers for every clip so instead what I do is I go to new right click sorry new adjustment layer or if you want to know the shortcut to make one you can just press Control alt y and I'm gonna name this transform you can really name it whatever you want scale paint a crop doesn't really matter just make sure you know what it is so then, what you're gonna do is, uh, in your effects and presets over here on the right, you're gonna see, um, if you type in transform, there's gonna be a little effect right here. I'm just gonna go over and drag that to your adjustment layer. Uh, so then, what you're gonna do is just add a key, go to the beginning of your clip and add a keyframe for scale. Pretty easy, right? Um, hit U, and just all the keyframes pop up. And the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is, you can either press F9 or and right click keep frame assistant and press easy ease that way just just in case you forget like all of the keyframes are going to be easy ease and basically what it does is it makes all the scaling a lot smoother and I don't know just a lot easier to watch in my opinion I there's a bunch of people who just don't do that and it's like you're watching the edit and it's just like all in your face and just distracts you from natural clips I don't like it so make sure you easy ease but what I'm going to have in the description is my rules for scaling and first off what it's going to start off being is in and out of clips it's going to be at 120% um, on shots I put it to 115 and then small beats 105 and in regular beats 110 so I know that's a lot to remember but I'm going to type it out maybe put a guy as a win something like that help you guys remember but this just is my way of doing everything because it it's the easiest to remember for me now and it looks the best in my opinion because all the beats are like relevant to the size of the uh, to the actual beats in the song and it also adds a lot of flow to your edits having uh, the scale really big in and out of the clips so what I mean by that is say the clips starting right here I'm gonna put that all the way up to 120 percent and it's gonna be a lot of scaled up but don't worry it's gonna look good then I'm going to go over to my shot, and on shots, I want it to be 115%. And now before, every time I uh, increase the scale, so 115, I'm going to go 5 frames before that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to put it back to 100. So by doing that, instead of, uh, you may be able to notice it's a lot smoother of an increase if it's five frames apart but when some people just do one frame it'll be all normal and then just BAM like that and it honestly looks horrible in my opinion um, unless you're doing like a really choppy song avoid that at all times please uh, I bet a lot of editors could agree with me but anyways now right here I, I know this song off by heart but all you have to do is just play the song by hitting the delete key on your keypad but so that's obviously just like a regular beat I'm gonna put that at 110 go five frames before that put it back at 100 and I don't know maybe I want the clip to go out right here 
that looks about good so I want the clip to transfer to either like a cinematic or another clip so I'm gonna put out 120 then go five frames before that and I'll just put 100 right there so I'll just do a quick run preview for you guys but you'll actually like remember sorry I can't talk but you will be able to notice the difference between the smoothness of five frames apart between keyframes instead of like a hundred and I also really like this method because as you can see like the screen is always moving scale wise it's it's never really stopping but here let's just do a quick rim preview so as you can see that looks pretty good but uh, I actually noticed I missed a beat that's okay all I gotta do is go back and we'll figure it out. Yeah, so there's like a little noise right there. That's pretty cool. So I don't know, can add a keyframe of like 110? It's just really important that you make sure all your scaling is really synced. So it can be aggravating, but really make sure it's synced with all the beats. And that'll just really help with your editing because Honestly, in my opinion, scaling is like one of the most important things. So yeah, that's about how I do my edits. Um, just make sure that you try to remember what I do for mine. If you if you like my scaling, um, I think it's pretty good. I got it down lately, but 120 in and out of clips, 110 on beats, um, 115 on shots, and then if there's really small beats, maybe go around 105. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. Uh, it may not have been the best, I know, but I'm trying my best. So, leave a like and comment if you want to see more of those. Comment something like Twixter or something like that. I can I can do really any of it. Just, uh, yeah, make sure you comment below. And uh, also look out for part two. It might be an updated setup video because my uh, setup changed a lot. It's gotten a lot better. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.